Hi, so today we're going to continue on with our Christmas videos and getting ready um, for the Christmas season and celebrating the birth of the Messiah. And um, today I want to look at, or looking at this week, I want to look at two different angel visitations, two different um, births, and two different responses to the, the words of the angels. So I want to compare the angels Gabriel, his visit with Zechariah concerning Elizabeth and the birth of John the Baptist, and um, compare that with Gabriel's visit with Mary concerning um, her conception and the birth of Jesus. Um, because those, those two stories are very similar in nature in that the angel came to, to give word, give the message to Zechariah that Elizabeth would have a baby and he is, I mean, the, the birth of John the Baptist was a miraculous birth, though not the miracle that um, Mary had with Jesus, but still, Zachariah's response was different than Mary's. And because of the difference in response, we saw something different happen with Zachariah than happened with Mary. So I hope you will um, allow the Lord to speak to you through these. He's going to speak to me through these and bring revelation in his word. So let's go then to the book of Luke, and we'll start there. So again, we're going to look at um, Zachariah's visitation with the angel first. And this has really um, been very interesting to me, especially in uh, light of what the Lord's been talking to me about that this Advent season. But if we go to Luke chapter 1, and if we start in verse 5, that's where we pick up when Luke begins to talk about Zachariah and Elizabeth going in with John the Baptist. So, or John, their son. He wasn't really called John the Baptist at this point in time. He came later. Anyway, <clears throat> Luke 1 verse 5. In the days when Herod was king of Judea, there was a certain priest whose name was Zechariah of the daily service, the division of Abia. And his wife was also a descendant of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous in the sight of God, walking blamelessly in all the commandments and the requirements of the Lord. But they had no child, for Elizabeth was barren, and both were far advanced in years. In verse 9, um, actually, let's stop here, and we'll talk about this portion for today. So, we find out here that both Elizabeth and Zechariah um, were righteous in the sight of the Lord. They um, walked blamelessly in all the commandments and the requirements of the Lord. And, of course, that being the law, the law of Moses, the, the laws that the Jewish, the Hebrew children um, kept in order to be right and in right standing before the Lord. Um, and so interesting that Zechariah was a priest. I think, you know, John the Baptist coming as a forerunner before Jesus and, and John's call, the Spirit of God on his life, in order to prepare the way for the Lord. Um, in bringing about a recognition, and this is something that we talked about in an earlier video, that it was a matter of the heart for John, and we read in, a, in another gospel. Let's see if I can pull that out real fast. Um, that John talks to people about um, repenting, and that it being repenting being a total change of directions like we turn around and go the complete opposite direction and we read that in Luke actually when John's ministry um, is is active when it takes place and he says he's he is one um, crying in the wilderness it, it says um, in chapter 3 ver chapter 3 of Luke in verse 6 he, this is John. John talking, he says, And all mankind shall see, shall behold, and understand, and at, at last acknowledge the salvation of God and the deliverance from eternal, eternal death. And so, um, if you look at Luke 3, 3, John the Baptist went into all the country around the Jordan preaching a baptism of repentance, of hearty amending of their ways and abhorrence of past wrongdoing unto the forgiveness of sin. And so that was John's message. And I think it's interesting um, 
that that Zechariah coming from a, the line of the lineage of the priesthood that the call and the spirit of God on John's life would be that of a calling to repentance to turn away um, from sins and past wrongdoing it says here a hearty amending of their ways unto the forgiveness of sins and so a, a recognizing that there must be a change of heart preparing the scene for Jesus to come in so that's where we'll end today we'll pick up here again tomorrow and I'll see you then